messages from your twin flame oh, what you need to know these are messages from your twin flame whether you've met them yet or not whether they're your person in your life at the moment whether you're in a no contact situation these are messages from your twin flame going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and open mind been drawn towards this one i'm going to lay out a nine card spread welcome back to hope to have a daily my name is angie i'm a tarot card reader from england this tarot reading is between you the universe and your intuition if it connects with you you'll know if it if it doesn't quite fit don't make it fit you'll know if it's for you or not if it resonates let me know in the comments or put a purple heart in the comments or any color heart you like put a like on the reading it really helps to push us into your algorithm so your twin flame at the moment this is a twin flame reading this is a twin flame messages reading your twin flame at the moment has the chariot reversed in the middle of their nine card spread and this is restlessness, a desire for change, feeling out of control. There's kind of things going on, isn't there? So, if you're a regular, we have some new message cards. I've taken inspiration from my message box. And, yeah, we're going to do this. So, first of all... We want the first message from your twin flame. What do they want you to know first? What is it they're running away from? So we have a Gemini. Yeah, and we have a Taurus. And we have a Leo. They're kind of in order, aren't they? I think, I don't know. Um, but a Gemini, a Taurus and a Leo feels like a natural progression it feels like someone gets pulled in different ways <sighs> someone's really stubborn and want someone's got massive massive pride they don't like admitting when they're wrong yeah <laughs> i'm just like oh my goodness how frustrating so hmm we're going to pull from this message pile next. When are things going to progress for you and your twin flame? When are things going to progress for you and your twin flame? Let's have a look. February, which has just gone. So there may have already been a progression. And then we have August. So between February and August is the key time in here, which is kind of now, isn't it? If you're, if you're watching this when I upload it, this is the period of time where things are going to progress for you and your person. Um, and it feels really magical and it feels really great. So we're starting to read them with a four of pentacles, which is they don't want to let you go, but... They can't quite offer you the stability that you need with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. There's been massive hold-ups for this connection. The King of Swords, they're quite stubborn. They're quite clear at communicating, though. But they're stubborn with it. They like everything their own way. The Ten of Wands reversed is they put the burden on themselves quite a lot. The Page of Swords reversed is they made you promises that they've let you down on. And it's made, and it was things that they were out of control of. So they made you promises, really wanting to fulfil those promises. But things outside their control stopped it from happening. The Four of Swords reversed. There's feelings of rejection between you both at the moment. Um, the Justice card reversed is, is a really unfair situation. The things that they've let you down on really were beyond their control and it's not fair it's not fair for either of you and then the six of coins reversed feels they don't feel that they have the money to do the things that they want to do and it's just all being held up everything's being held up and it's to do with their overthinking and their stubbornness that's keeping it held up so 
let's pull some twin flame messages private readings are all always available i haven't made twin flame messages available on my website yet but if you book a reading and you would like me to pull you some twin flame messages just include it in your email um because i haven't made it available yet so if you know you know so what messages does your twin flame have for you right now we're getting there in the end you're like hurry up yeah we're getting there we're getting there i know i hurt you i'm sorry they did hurt you they did hurt you but you both got hurt it feels like both of you were hurt there's a lot of pain here there's a lot of disappointment there's a lot of rejection there's a lot of isolation it feels like instead of figuring it out together it calls to separation um i smile when i read your messages that's really nice as well isn't it do you smile when you read their messages as well they are genuinely sorry you know i get on my soapbox when i'm like Someone saying sorry, sometimes controlling, sometimes some, someone being remorseful is genuine, you know. Sometimes life just gets in the way, doesn't it? People can have the best of intentions and then life gets in the way. I'm thinking of you. My only love. Yeah. What else is there? This is really nice it does feel like there's going to be progress so we've just got into march are we in march yeah we've just got into march got april may june july august there's going to be real progress you're on a journey here for the both of you but they need to do the right thing they need to they feel they're completely out of control but there are things that they are in control of except how things are the way that they are I've told you things I haven't told anybody else. And we'll pull one more. Silence is an answer. If you don't reply to them, if you're quiet with them, they're going to be assuming the worst, but then so are you. Um, there is pain here, but there's progress to be made here as well. The both of you just really love each other and the both of you feeling pain and you're feeling let down and they know that they've let you down and they are really sorry there's so much of a bond here it would be a shame to just completely give up on it but it needs to evolve into something new something where they feel that they have more control and that they can deliver on the things that they promise you so that's what i have you i hope that it helps in some way I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. And thank you so much for being here with me today. If you're a regular, welcome to the Secret Purple Heart Gang. I really appreciate you being here. If you're a regular, let me know. What do you think about the Twin Flame messages? I, When I'm having my coffee in the morning, I've been writing them as they come in. Because normally in the mornings, I get all of the questions for the day come in and I sit there writing them down. So these were coming in, have been coming in. I find my brain is open the most first thing in the morning, which is just weird. I'm awake, right? Bang, loads of information coming in. Um, and as the day goes on, I get tireder and tireder. Um, but let me, uh, feedback, always grateful. Um, appreciate being here. Rosie is, what is Rosie doing? I've got a new duvet cover, so she, that's hers now. So now she's on my bed all of the time because the brand new du duvet cover's perfect, apparently. It's the first time in ages she's actually been sleeping on my bed and it's getting really annoying. Like I've got a double bed, so of course I sleep in a quarter of it and the cat has the rest of it. And she, I don't know how they manage it, do they? they? They're the smallest little thing curled up, but they take up the most amount of room. Um, but she's living her best life. She's quite happy. We're meant to be having a really cold week next week. So she's going to be so grumpy. So, so grumpy. If you're new here, Rosie is a pretty little tuxedo cat. She's 12 years old and she's the boss of me. 
so yeah i hope you're doing well um yeah i just hope you're doing well i really hope you're doing well i'm doing well it's everything's fine it's fine you know we're going through one of those phases of it's fine it's fine it's fine everything's fine you know if you know you know i will see you soon